Hi, I'm Joan Chamberlain. Today I wanted to teach you how to stay pain free. Now this morning what I did is I took my first paddleboard lesson which was really fun and I did it with a, a really good teacher so I think it's always good when you start a new sport to do it with a teacher who knows what they're doing. Now before I went out and did the paddleboard lesson what I did is my level three pelvic stabilization slash core strengthening exercises that are on my DVD because I wanted to make sure that my pelvis stayed level and stable because I knew that I was going to be using my latissimus dorsi muscles right here that uh, attach onto your pelvis and when you're paddling and swimming you use your latissimus dorsi muscles and because this muscle is so big and strong and attaches on the top of your pelvis here you have to make sure that the other muscles your glutes and your other core muscles the hip abductors and the abdominal muscles are really strong because this latissimus dorsi muscle when it contracts you've got them on both sides when it contracts it can pull the pelvis into an oblique uh, tipped unlevel position and then the spine tends to fall so what we want to do in order to prevent pain is to keep your, your spine nice and straight and your pelvis or the foundation of your spine nice and level if you don't uh, you can have a lot of back pain which can progress into a lot of more serious issues if that pelvis does not stay level and stable. Okay, so in order to keep that pelvis nice and level and stable, you have to keep your core muscles strong and you have to create a balance around your low back and pelvis. So it do, it's done with a combination of strengthening the muscles that hold the pelvis and low back in alignment and then stretching the muscles that pull the pelvis out of alignment. So after I was done with my paddling lesson, what I did was do those two most powerful stretches that help, again, level and stabilize the foundation of my back. In those stretches are the stretch of the quadratus lumborum muscle, which is done like this. You're gonna tip your pelvis forward, push your hip out, come up with your arm, and rotate, straightening out your shoulders, leveling out your shoulders, and stretching that left quadratus lumborum muscle. And you're also gonna be stretching your left latissimus dorsi muscle here. So that helps to uh, keep the left side of your pelvis in alignment. And then the muscle that tends to pull the right side out is your right hip flexor. And so you're gonna to want to stretch your right hip flexor by keeping your shoulders up, pulling that hip forward, lunging down, and turning a little bit to the left with your shoulders. So those two stretches really help stabilize your pelvis, keep the foundation of your spine straight and level. So there you go.